Welcome to this Dominican Airways tutorial and this is a tutorial I will be showing you how to use FSA cards. So what you want to do first is go to the Dominican Airways website, dominicanair.tk is the website. Once you are there just go to Pilot Center. From Pilot Center or uh, you want to log, go down and download the FSA cards configuration file. Once you have downloaded that it should be in your uh, downloads folder and once you have downloaded that, you want, now you can go to phpvms.net, go to the download section and download the freeware FSA cars. Download that and install that. Once you have downloaded it and installed it, go back to the Dominican Airways website, Pilot Center, and then go to View Flights, uh, View Flight Schedules. Once you are there, let it come up a little bit once you are there just uh, pick a flight that you want to do that has the airplane that you are flying in this case we are doing MDST to MDLR once you press add to bid which is right next to the flight it should say bid added and that um, should be that should be a sign that it has been added as a flight that you are going to do now you can go right ahead and start up uh, actually there's one more step that you have to do before you can uh, start up FSA cars which is the most important step but first I have to close the program before I can show you this this program shall of course it is running so just one second while that closes. I'm sorry for this. I uh, have to close this. Okay. So, close it again. So, once you have closed, the, um, actually, once you have installed FSA cards, go to Computer, Local Disk C, Program Files, and FSA Cards folder. And drag the configuration file that we downloaded from the pilot center it should look like that once you just drag it into the FSA cars folder and once you drag it it should look something like this DW configuration settings and once that is done you can now close that and start up FSA cars that can be started by going to all program FSA cars and the application now we're just going to wait for it to start up and once FSA cars has started up which it should be really soon now pick Dominican Airways and press choose selected company once you are there, this is saying that if you are at the departing airport with the plane, press yes, which I am already right there, and then press flight from VA. This will add all the info about the flight into this departure airport, arrival airport, the flight level, the aircraft type, and so on that you should have to be able to do this flight right. For this flight we're going to be doing direct but you might be using the OR to the OR or high altitude airways so after you have done that you can press start log and the start log button should have turned into a stop log button now you can go to flight log once you have landed go back to FSA cars but do not close flight simulator and press stop log once you have pressed that, you can. Do you want to close the log and press yes? Press OK again, and go. If you are already not at the flight log center, go there and press send log. Make sure that your pilot ID is the right one, because if you don't have the right one, then you will not be able to. We will not count this as a flight for you. We will count this as a flight for whoever pilot ID this is. Press OK and it doesn't matter if this is blank just um, 
if it is if it isn't blank then you should see the Dominican Airways website again there so let's just let it come up so you guys can see how it should look if it's not blank so it looks something like this just press OK and it should say log sent once the log has been sent press OK and I'll go back to the Dominican Airways website this is to make sure that you have sent in the log and as you can see the last flight has been number seven Oops, or go to number go to the home page again or wherever just refresh the page and there you will see the number eight has been put in by whoever did the flight and the flight number and everything just press the flight number to view information about this flight showing you the pilots the departing airport and so on once that has been done that's mostly all you have to do hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys on uh, for to fly for the Dominican Airways on uh, this kind of things thanks for watching